Welcome to this course of Basic Electronics. This video is for the students of first year engineering. The prerequisites for this course is your 12th physics, chapters leading to semiconductors, electricity and magnetism, and maths. The objective of this session is, after completing this session, you should be able to define the scope of electronics, state some of the applications of electronics in your day-to-day -day life, and state the latest trends in the field of electronics. Before starting my lecture, I would like to give you some instructions. Keep a pen and a paper with you while listening to my lecture and keep a note of all the important points. Let us start with the basic question, what is electronics? The word electronics is derived from electron mechanics. What is the meaning of electron mechanics? It is a study of behavior of an electron under different conditions of externally applied fields. The Institution of Radio Engineers has given a standard definition for electronics in their proceedings and it goes like this. Electronics is that field of science and engineering which deals with electron devices and their utilization. Students, note the term used here, electron devices. What is an electron device? It is a device in which the conduction takes place by the movement of the electrons. The movement of the electrons can be inside a semiconductor, vacuum or gases. Now it is time for us to see some of the applications of electronics. The conveniences that we are enjoying today is the result of the rapid growth in electronics. Electronics plays a very important role in every part of our life, mainly communication and entertainment, defense applications, industrial applications, medical sciences and instrumentation. First of all, let us see the application of electronics in communication and entertainment. During the earlier part of the century, the main application of electronics was in telegraphy and telephony. The telegraphy and telephony utilizes a pair of wires. But now it is possible to transmit messages from one place to another without wires. That is wireless communication is possible. So now it is possible to transmit messages a thousands of kilometers away with the help of radio waves. So with such wireless communication, the people in any part of the world knows what is happening in the other part. With the help of the teleprinter, it is possible to type the message on a typewriter kept in another city. Radio and TV broadcasting is used for both communication and entertainment. And instant communication between places far apart is possible with the help of satellites. And it is because of this application of electronics that you are able to listen to my lecture now. And the electronic gadgets like tape recorders, record players, stereo systems, public address systems are widely used for entertainment. Now coming to the defense applications. Radar is mainly invented for defense applications. The full form of radar is radio detection and ranging. From the term itself we can understand the use of radar. Radar can be used to detect and locate the enemy aircraft. The radar will send a signal to the enemy aircraft and the enemy aircraft will send a echo signal back to the radar. And this is how it is detecting whether this aircraft is present and also it is locating where exactly the aircraft is. The radar and aircraft guns can be linked by an automatic control system to form a single unit. Guided missiles are completely controlled by electronic circuits. Now let us see the applications of electronics in industries. In industries, the usage of automatic control systems are increasing day by day. 
the electronic circuits are used in industrial applications for the control of thickness quality weight moisture content of the material the electronic amplifier circuits are used to amplify signals if the signals are very feeble it can be amplified by using electronic amplifiers the amplified signals are used to control the operations of automatic door openers lighting systems power systems and safety devices etc the desktop calculators are commonly used in banks departmental stores etc for quick arithmetic calculations students use calculators to solve problems and electronic computers or electronic brains are used for automatic record keeping and solving complicated problems coming to the applications of electronics in medical sciences electronic systems are used by the doctors and scientists for the diagnosis and treatment of various diseases some of the instruments which have been in use are the x-rays x-rays are used for taking pictures of internal bone structures it is also used for treating some diseases next is the ecg or electrocardiographs the ecg is used to find the condition of the heart of a patient and the oscillographs are used for studying the muscle action now let us see the application of electronics in instrumentation instrumentation plays a very important role in any industry and research organization VTVM cathode ray oscilloscope frequency counter signal generator pH meter strain gauge etc are some of the electronic instruments used in research laboratory with this i conclude this session here in my next video i'll be explaining about the electronic components thank you